Players across the major leagues, including the Royals tonight, donned the number 42 jersey in honor of Jackie Robinson Day. You know, those jerseys, they can really mean a lot. And now a uniform belonging to a member of the 1945 Kansas City Monarchs, now on display at the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. It's the same team Jackie Robinson played on before breaking MLB's color barrier, and that uniform belonged to one of his teammates and good friends. So tonight, we'll introduce you to the man behind the uniform and why it's now safe at home. A king's ransom. And I'm like, no, please, whoever this is, back off. For a monarch. Typically, pieces like this, uniforms, bats, gloves, other three-dimensional kind of items, usually we have no shot. This jersey belonged to a second-generation Negro League ball player. Everett Ziggy Marcel. Ziggy Marcel was the son of the legendary Negro Leaguer Oliver the Ghost Marcel one of the baddest third basemen to ever play this game. And when it was up for auction, the NLBM had to step up to the plate. I don't know how long it's going to take me to pay for it, but we got it. You know, it costs a pretty penny, but what this uniform represents is priceless. You see, this uniform is the bridge. As James Brown would say, we're taking it to the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bridge because that's when the transition starts to occur. The bridge between Jackie Robinson, his time on the 1945 Monarchs and fellow Monarchs like Ziggy, as well as the blessing and curse to the Negro Leagues that soon followed. Jackie and Ziggy's story comes to life through this piece of memorabilia. There aren't a lot of these pieces that have survived time. They, they are rare. And any time that you can get access to them, and you get a chance to bring them home, particularly for an institution like ours, we get to tell these stories. Ziggy's story gives us a chance to talk about his father's story, the ghost. And you notice they had these great nicknames, Ziggy Marcel, Oliver the Ghost Marcel. You know, the nicknames were so amazingly popular there in the Negro Leagues. I was, actually, if you didn't have a great nickname, you probably couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a monarch, you were royalty. And now this piece of royalty is at its castle, the Negro Leagues Museum. And that piece being a part of that legacy, that history, becomes even more significant for us than maybe it would someplace else. So yeah, you go out and you spend a few extra dollars to try and secure it and bring it home. And now it's home. You know, we should also know a lot of folks say Jack Robinson, baseball was not his best sport. Far from it. They say he was better at basketball and track and field. Ziggy, Marcel, and Jackie Robinson also played on a traveling basketball team, the Los Angeles Devils, one of the basketball team's first ever integrated teams. The Monarchs jersey, by the way, in case you're wondering, it cost the NLBM roughly $67,000. So the museum has accepted donations to help offset that cost.